the world's population is growing rapidly. Aquaculture and salmon farming will increasingly become important in supplying the protein needs of this larger, global population in the future. Norway has huge potential for the production growth of Atlantic salmon, but is currently stagnating because of challenges relating to sea lice. This parasite costs the Norwegian fish farming industry approximately 5 billion Norwegian kroner in 2015 and has contributed to a dramatic increase in production costs. Sea lice are beginning to show an increased resistance to the current chemical treatment methods and an already weakened fish will not tolerate the treatment. These chemicals also represent a potential pollution risk to the fish, people and the environment. Genomic selection is a preventative and non-medical method that reduces the number of lice attached to the fish. The answer to why some fish are attached to by more sea lice than others can be found in their DNA. This is clearly demonstrated in controlled challenge tests on siblings of our broodfish. Resistance to sea lice has proven to be a complex trait controlled by a large number of genes. The salmon's genome consists of 3 billion base pairs distributed over 29 chromosome pairs and each base pair can contribute to lice resistance to a varying degree. To make sure we include all these small contributions from each individual gene, we need to study the entire genome. By recording data from siblings and using large pedigree databases, we are able to estimate how many sea lice an individual broodfish will get by studying its DNA. Through selection, we combine molecular and quantitative genetics, which enables us to rank all broodfish candidates in relation to each other, based on how few sea lice they are expected to get. Previously, it was not possible to study DNA in this way, and we therefore considered all individuals in the same family as identical. Now we can increase the accuracy of selection by looking at the individual level and choose the best candidates from each family, including good performing individuals from families that perform poorly on an average level in our challenge tests. In addition to increased precision when selecting breeding candidates, this new method also reduces inbreeding, as we can use fish from a larger number of families than before. We thereby increase the genetic gain towards sea lice resistance. With genomic selection, we expect to reduce sea lice attachment, which will benefit the salmon, the fish farmers, the environment and society as a whole. At Benchmark Breeding and Genetics, we have introduced this method for several new traits and across species, with the goal of producing fast-growing, robust and profitable fish. Breeding for the future with genomic precision.